Nevic 209 from YouTube here doing a review of the L298 NDC motor driver module. It's a dual H bridge, can be controlled from pretty much any microcontroller. This is set up for dual DC motor configuration. You'll see we have the two DC motors here, which are connected to the outputs. They're screw jack terminals for A, B, C, and D. Since each motor takes two, that's all four of them. And the input is 12 voltage from the wall, and this jack that's coming in through the ground, and the VSS input. There's also a terminal for 5 volts that comes from the onboard 7805 regulator once the switch is turned on. You can also control one stepper motor. There is a header for it here, this white header that we're not using today. And it's controlled with the Raspberry Pi here. And the, basically the only setup that was a little bit different is that on the ground screw terminal jack, you want to have a ground not just from the wall input power, but also to your controller board, which this is the Raspberry Pi or Arduino or PIC, whatever. You want to have the ground shared or else the input pins here won't send the right signals. So these pins are connected to the four GPIOs that are labeled on this board as N, A, B, C, and D. And there's also jumpers that are kind of hard to see underneath that will enable and disable uh, each of the A and B sections of the 298. They're jumpered right now to five volts coming off the 7805 to enable both of those. That's what that one LED you're seeing is. So in order to make this function, the first thing you want to do is you want to hit the switch here and see how you turn it off and then turn it back on. So this way you know for sure that your actual module is powered up and ready to go. There's a simple Python script using um, RPIO to access the GPIO ports on the Raspberry Pi that just switches between um, each motor spinning one way and then the other, and the other motor spinning one way and the other, which you'll see now. They might jump around a little bit because they're not really rated for 12 volts. Very, very simple setup. And that shows them working. And um, as you see the product page on the IC Station website, that you have a very wide range of input voltage from 7 volts to 35 volts. And the um, amperage is, is what's really important, especially when it comes to motors there. So you can actually peak up to 2 amps, which is really good value because a lot of cheap motor controllers you'll find are um, half an amp or one amp, and then the expensive ones start at like three to four, maybe five amps. So this is right in between at two amps, which is really, really nice functionality for a middle-sized robot. Now if you do the uh, math, that'll show you that your wattage output is just around uh, 20 watts, give or take, based on the operating temperature of the device. But it functions pretty smoothly, um, very easy to set up. This switch is a nice feature to turn on and off the input voltage for the board.